Yuval Noah Harari. He lectures at History at Hebrew University in Jerusalem. His new book, just out yesterday, is called Homo Deus, A Brief History of Tomorrow. It's a sequel to his previous book, Sapiens, A Brief History of Mankind, and you can read an excerpt at our website, onpointradio.org. Yuval Harari, thanks for joining me in the studio. Hello, and delighted to be here. Well, um, let's start with Homo sapiens, which is our current species. Homo means man in Latin, and sapiens mean wise, we are wise men, allegedly at least. And Homo Deus is God-man or divine man, because what we will try to do in the 21st century is to upgrade humans into gods and to acquire for ourselves abilities that traditionally were considered to be divine abilities, in particular, the ability to create and engineer life. Now, these ideas were ones that were, um, well, there was a pretty big struggle in the world about the role of man versus the role of God since Darwin. Mm -hmm. uh, are those arguments over in 2017? Is the table set for us to start looking ahead to that man who calls the shots, that human being who creates the world? Uh, I think yes. I mean, the, the ethical and religious debate continues, but the technological train moves forward at an ever faster rate. And we are already doing things that uh, in the past were considered to be far beyond human ability. Um, if you read the Bible, the main thing people expected from God back in ancient Israel was to bring rain and fertility and protect them against diseases and so forth. And this is now being done by human technology. And I think that with the rise of artificial intelligence and bioengineering, we are very close to the point when we will start uh, creating life, just as God did in the book of Genesis, and even in a way, go beyond the God of the Bible, or if you like, beyond evolution. Because uh, both according to the Bible and according to the theory of evolution, up till now, for four billion years, all of life, was confined to the organic realm. It doesn't matter if you were an amoeba, or a dinosaur, or a tomato, or a human being, you were made only of organic compounds. Now we are on the verge of creating the first inorganic life forms after four billion years of evolution. And if, in, if we succeed in doing that, then we are really beyond the gods of ancient mythology that just managed to create organic creatures.